testing is absolutely critical, especially with a fast uh, traveling virus like this. And so I think our testing capabilities are now, uh, uh, you know, the, the toast of the town, if I call it that way. We have tested over 350,000 cases so far. And some, many times, some pa patients who are found to have this, you know, one, uh, are tested many times before they're released, uh, before they are confirmed fully cured. Um, but altogether, I think we're talking about something like one out of 145 or 150 people uh, having been tested so far. Even though we have acted early, much of this has surprised us and, and most of all how fast it travels. Uh, our case number one was on January 23rd, a young Chinese woman who was China, traveling from Wuhan to, uh, to Japan, in fact. And we caught her in transit at the airport, uh, displaying very uh, severe symptoms. Up to, between her and up to 31, it was a really meticulously managed um, case up to 31. But after case 31, it just exploded. And, you know, containing the spread it was very difficult. Our you know, sense of crisis at the time was very much uh, the same as the sense of crisis that many uh, fighting this in the European countries are feeling, just you know, being overwhelmed. The key to our success has been absolute transparency with the public. I mean, sharing every detail of how this virus is evolving, how it is spreading, and what the government is doing about it. Warts and all, Prime Minister formed a task force of all government ministries and, uh, and crucially, all city and provincial governments. We are a very devolved uh, governance structure. City mayors and uh, provincial governors are all directly elected. Uh, so we, we, we are a vibrant democracy that is also very devolved and it was very crucial uh, to make sure that what we did, we did together. Uh, for example, when this region ran out of hospital beds, uh, we asked other provinces to open up beds in their hospitals. This is indeed a global challenge and, and we all have to overcome this together. It doesn't matter that my country is stabilizing and you know, coming to grips with this. The world together has to overcome this together.